Hey everybody, <laughs> back at you with another exciting video. <laughs> well, possibly exciting. Uh, this video came about because uh, a friend of mine and I was discussing a video that had come out recently uh, about a blanket pen. And what a blanket pen is, most people know what blanket pens are. They're a round looking thing with a sharp rod that swings and it's used for like pinning through a wool blanket so you can wear it like as a coat. And uh, because if you just take a, a, a wool blanket, most people know about blanket pens. And um, <clears throat> I don't have a standard one to show you, but they're for like, uh, for years and years and years, the blanket pens have been used and, and they even went all the way back to Civil War times. And what they were for is for it, you could take a wool blanket and wrap it around you and then pin it in the front, okay? Or you could pull it up over your head and pin it here, okay? Now, the thing about those things, I was telling my friend, anyway, when, when, when it was brought up that I had mentioned that there was a wool, there was a, I have a blanket pin, an older design that I was shown that does not have the pin because it does not put the hole in it. it it'll, it'll hold, the blanket around you with no hole. Now, <clears throat> that can come in handy for if you, if you, a lot of people, some of these wool blankets, the fibers will go back together, but if you're like me, you just don't want to put a hole in your wool blanket, because if you do it enough times and wear it enough times, uh, that's not good. You'll wind up with a bunch of holes in it. And a wool blanket is a multi-use piece of equipment. It can be a blanket or it can be like a, 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 a winter wrap, almost like a jacket. You can wear it around the fire. And that's where a lot of people will wear one. But a lot of people don't carry a wool blanket. Nowadays, it's modern times, a lot of people will carry a, a fleece blanket and <clears throat> they don't want to put holes in them either. And like for me, let's say that I'm out and... Um, I've got my jacket, but it's extremely horribly cold, and so I want to wear an extra blanket, but I don't have my wool blanket. Then let's say, for example, I've got um, a lot of people buy these blankets that have the uh, pre Prima Loft filling, okay? These modern uh, nylon polyester type blankets. You certainly don't want to put a hole in one of them if you want to wear it. Like my, this is a snowpack jungle blanket, people that have these. This is another good thing for it, uh, the, um, the pen that I'm showing you how to make. And uh, it's a, it is a blanket pen, but it isn't. It's more like a clip. And incidentally, another friend had asked me one day, any of these blankets and these sleeping bags that are made out of this, uh, this Prima Loft filling, don't leave them stuffed in a stuff bag, stuff sack, compressed when you're not using them. After you're done camping and you go back home, hang it up. I, I hang mine up on a blanket hanger because that way it, it, keeps it, it keeps the fluff in better shape instead of being all compressed. And then that way when you go camping, you can pull it out and, and I mean, you can, you can cram it in the stuff, stuff sack and then put it in your backpack. So anyway, uh, enough of what we were talking about, about wool blankets and Prima Loft blankets and fleece blankets. But... So anyway, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to take you step by step how to make the pinless blank, blanket pen, okay? And I'm going to leave the welding out of it. I'm going to show you a way that anybody can do this at home because not everybody has a welder. I usually weld mine, but I'm going to show you how you can make one at home, okay? So let's, let's get right to it. Now, I'm not going to show you right off the bat a finished pen because if I show you, it's going to freak you out. You're going to be like, well, I can't make that. <laughs> but if you, well, and that's the reason why I'm having to do this step by step so that I can show you how it's made. Okay. All right. Now, what you need is <clears throat> you need a vise or something to hold some pipe. Okay. And you want a piece of pipe about uh, a little over an inch to inch and a quarter, inch and a half diameter. Okay. You need that. Or maybe a large broom handle or a rake handle even or a shovel handle. And then you need a smaller diameter pipe, okay? Or even a wooden dowel, anything round, okay? Start out with the big one and you put it in your vise, okay? Now, as far as what you're going to make it out of, 
some kind of steel wire, heavy wire, or some kind of uh, steel rod. Uh, in a pinch, you might maybe could use an old steel coat hanger, but I don't like them because they're too small a diameter. What this is, is this is an eighth inch TIG welding rod, and it seems to work absolutely perfect, okay? So what you do is you grab it right in the middle, somewhere's in the middle, just eyeball it, and then you set it over the pipe and you just bend it over into a U-shape right in the center. All right, now that was pretty easy. See, nothing to it. Big long piece. If it's uneven on the end, that's okay. It may be to your advantage later on. <laughs> All right, now you got that done. Next step, put in the smaller piece of pipe and then I'll show you what to do. I'm here where you can see more of what I'm doing because the first step was easy, the other steps are a little tricky. Now you wanna to go to your smaller diameter, okay? Here's the piece that I just bent, nothing to it, one big U-shape, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna take about a hand's width, which would be about right here, and you just set it right there, okay? About a hand's width, okay? Take one leg of it and bend it over. You want to bend it behind, okay? Just like that. All right. You're going to bend it to where it's touching on the back side, okay? Now, <clears throat> once you have that done, what you want to do next is you want to scoot it over and then you want to, what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to try to get the top of this even with this as close as you can, okay? As soon as you've done that, you want to bend the other leg in. It's kind of hard with the heavier wire. That's why I like this eighth inch. And you can already see how confusing this is getting as I'm bending it. Okay, you want to pull that over to where it's parallel. All right, let me scoot it around here a little bit. Okay, this is what it looks like so far. Put my hand behind it so you can see it. Okay, I started out with the loop, and then I bent this over, and I have both pieces of wire on the back side. Okay, make sense? All right, now what you want to do is you want to flip it over like this upside down and then you want to set it on here but what you want to do this time is you want this to be instead of setting down you want to lift it up just a little bit okay once you've lifted it up this is in the center you're going to bend this over to the outside to match this okay so let's try to bend this over just like that Come all the way down, just like that. What we're trying to do is bend it parallel. Okay, so you got a nice little, nice little loop right there. Now what you want to do is you want to match this height up with the pipe to bend this end. And you're doing the bend again on this outside. Okay? Alright, so I'm going to eyeball this. Let's we'll scoot down here. Right there. And sometimes you may get it a little uneven, but that's okay. You know my old favorite saying, I ain't trying to win a beauty contest. <laughs> All it's got to do is work. Okay, now you saw what that is. Okay. Bend that in a little bit. Okay. You see why I say it is so confusing? Just like that. Okay. Now the last step is you want to take it like this. Oh no, wait a minute. You have to change pipe. Let me change that. All right, I got you back now. What I did is I put the bigger pipe in there now. So what you want to do now with this thing, okay, I showed you how to bend all that and you got these two legs hanging out the top here. So what you want to do next is you want to come out here on the end and you want to have just, you want to be touching on the bottom, okay? And you want to bend Let's see. 
No, actually, you want to be somewhere right in the center line here. Let's see. No, I'm trying to think now. Okay, this is why. This is how you want to make it. See, I almost screwed up. It's kind of tricky. You want to make it to where the wire is touching here, and you're about in the center line. And what you want to do is you want to bend it over like that. Okay? And then you want to take the other leg, and you want to bend the other leg over like that. All right? Now see, I bent that one too low. Those are supposed to match up, but that's that's not that big a deal. You can always straighten it back out. Because actually, you're only going to use one of them, and I'll explain that in a minute. Okay, now you can kind of see how it's looking. You can ignore this, and I'll show you in a minute why. But you can see what it looks like now, is it looks like two loops. Okay, now I'm going to show you the next step. Okay. Okay, the next step, I'll show you what I'm going to do right here now. You can see it's got like one big loop. It's got two loops inside it. So what you want to do now is you see how it has this one loop going all the way around? Normally what I do, and you don't, you don't have to do it, uh, I would cut it right here. Now wait a minute. Cut it here. Yeah. Cut it right here. Okay, and now what I'm going to do next is take some tape, okay, take some electrical tape here, figures I wouldn't have a knife. Now that just figures that, uh, you know, me all constantly being surrounded by machetes and knives that I didn't have a knife with me out here. <laughs> so what you, what you want to do, cut you put a couple of pieces of tape, okay, put one there. One here. All right, now, <clears throat> like I say, normally what I would do if it was me is I would cut this and I would weld it together right here. But I'm trying to do this so that anybody can make these things, whether you have a weld machine or not. So what you want to do is you want to take the two loose ends and put you a piece of tape right here. Usually black electrical tape works. Let me hold it up where you can see it. And you tape it around. Okay. Whatever tape you want. No big deal. Like I say, you might could make this. These welding rods seem to work the best for me. But if you want to um, maybe maybe use a coat hanger, you can. Coat hangers aren't very strong. Uh, you can't use copper wires as well unless it's really thick copper wire. All right. You got that all taped up. So you can see what it looks like now. Like I say, it's a whole lot neater if this this part's welded, but it's not necessary because it'll work without it. Okay, now I will show you the final step. Uh, well, one thing I'm going to show you real quick is you're looking at this and it looks like an oval with two ovals inside. And if I showed this to you, you would think that is impossible to make. Okay, but I'm going to show you one thing here real quick. Um... Take something like this right here. You can kind of see the way this thing is bent. Is that underneath here, this will slide through. Okay. And then on the top, you can turn it around. And then this side slides through. So you can see it's like it's got a bottom and a top. Does that make sense? All right. Let's go back over to the vise and I'll show you the final finishing step for it. Now the finishing step, the only thing that you got to remember is you see how it has these loops that these are bent. See how they're standing up on this side? Okay, well what you want to do is you want to stand it with these facing me. Okay? And you want to just push it down until it touches and you want to just give it a bend. Okay, bend it over towards you about like that right there. And now what you want to do is you want to lift it up. See how it's bent? You flip it over, and then you'll be turning it around because you're going to be bending in the opposite direction. So you're going to come down here and sit on here. And then you're going to pull it towards you. 
and you're going to pull it towards you until this part right here is pretty much straight up. Just like that. See how it looks? <laughs> one bent up, one bent down. And it basically looks like a loop with two loops inside it. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw on the blanket and, and I'll show you how it works. I say I mentioned to my friend that I was going to uh, show how it was made and, and how to use it. And I thought if I was going to go to the trouble of making a video that, you know, I'd just go ahead and share it with everybody, you know. <laughs> Not everybody uses wool blankets anymore, but pretty much everybody carries blankets. And so, like I say, some of the modern blankets, people don't want to put holes in them. <laughs> but what I do is these, with that, whenever I use a wool blanket for it, okay, and it's like I don't, Sometimes I'll wear it, you know, at night when I'm around a fire, things like that. Or if it gets extra, extra, extra cold, I'll put it on, okay? So what you want to do is you take the wool blanket, okay, and you're like Batman. <laughs> okay, woo! And you fold it over, all right? Now, let's ease down here so that I can show you the nuts and the bolts of this thing. And what it is is on this side right here, okay, what you're going to do... I'm going to lay it on here, and I will push it on, okay, just like that, all right, it's clipped on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my arm further out here so that I can reach around here, and I can grab this part, okay, and what you do with this, let's see, wait a minute, I, put it on, I might have put it on backwards, let me think about it. Yeah, I did put it on backwards. Yeah, okay, see? <laughs> I put it on backwards. You want to put this behind, and you want the two loops on the outside. Okay, see, I don't use these that often. <laughs> That's what it is. I'm sorry I had it backwards the first time, but it's good <clears throat> It's good that I showed you that. It's, it's good that I showed you that it, it is possible to put it on backwards, because that way if you try it and put it on and you're like well it's got to work how come mine's not working <laughs> okay but that's what you want to do on the first one two loops okay now you got your other part and what you want to do is you want to lay it right there and you grab it through this round part here and you slide it through okay scoot the whole thing over okay and see the way this thing is right here the way this thing is bent, it actually locks it in. See? Isn't that kind of neat? All right, now I'll show you one other thing. If you want two of them, let's see. Another thing, let's ease you down here, because I had made another one earlier to make sure that I could do it. Another thing you can do is that you can have two of them. <clears throat> I've got the one at the top. Is you can pull this layer back, okay? And then I've got this other layer. Remember, remember what I said, have the two loops on the outside. So what you want to do is slide this on, just like that. And then you take this and set it here. Reach in here and grab it and pull it on. Okay? And see, now I have... And that's like, for example, if you had... If you had two of the traditional blanket pens and you used them every single time, then you would wind up, that's like every time you used it, you would wind up, you would wind up with, uh, there's two holes in your wool blanket every single time. You know, every time. That's, that's not good. Okay? And I'm going to show you one other thing. Oh, and the way to get it off, okay, the way to get it off, is you just grab the blanket and you pull it apart and then you pull this off okay pull the blanket out and pull this apart all right nothing to it now let's try just for the heck of it <laughs> let's try let's see if i can do the hood part now that's where you take the blanket and you hold it over your head all right let me move this over here <laughs> This is for like when it's incredibly cold. Okay? Take it like this. Slide it on to where the two 
are on the outside. All right. Two's on the outside. And so you can kind of do this very easily because you just get it up close to it. And you reach into the hole. And you pull. Let's see if I can do this. And you just pull it together. Okay? And that neat? Don't I look like a moron? <laughs> And if, after you've done that, then you can take the other clip and you can put the other clip down on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Might as well go ahead and kill five minutes here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I like these pens. These pens are cool. And like I say, they work great. Put it on. Pull it in. If you got a weld machine, you can weld it one part together. Okay. See, I'm warm already. It's kind of hard to do when you've got the hood part on it. And there you go. Okay. <laughs> I feel like, or you can pull the hood down if you want to. <laughs> I feel like a character from Star Wars. <laughs> All right, well, that's, that's enough of that. Let me let me let me pull this stuff off. <laughs> I'm likely gonna be a, a, a short video. <laughs> I need a haircut bad. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be a short video, and I'm working on a, a longer video that's pretty cool about machetes. But uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna show you. Pull this off. I don't know of a whole lot of people that use these for this, but they're they're very very extremely popular now. These these uh, permathin style blankets. Okay, so let's see. Take the blanket, put it behind you. All right. Now let's try this here and see how it works. Okay, ease it down here. It's a suitable closing closing for a video. All right, slide that on. Put this in. You see another reason why with one of these type of blankets, you wouldn't want to, you wouldn't want to, um, you would definitely wouldn't want to cut a hole in it, poke a hole in it with one of them things. All righty. And there you go. And that's how it works. Not a big deal. It's a great way, and it's like a it, like I say, it turns it turns a uh, it, it turns a blanket into a multi-use piece of gear, and that's the way I am about things. I like I like to carry uh, uh, gear that has more than one use, and uh, you know this way you don't necessarily need as heavy of a coat. You know you can carry this. Hey, I kind of got that Darth Vader look going. <laughs> All right. Next video will be a little bit longer, I promise. I hope you uh, enjoyed this one. Uh, you know, I hope it comes in handy. You know, maybe you can make you a blanket pen. So, uh, I shall see you in the next one.